State Affairs with Edmond Dombilo is live. Reading is feeding the mind. Feed the mind. Go to udarabooks.com. Udara Books, feeding the mind. program is State Affairs. I am Edmond Obilo. My guest is Mulikat Akonde Adiola. Good to have you on State Affairs. Thank you. It's this, my pleasure to be here. And I'm happy to see you for the first time. <laughs> Same here too. You look so gentle. I am. At least I don't make noise. But you fight. Fight? Yeah. I don't know. You are the one telling me. <laughs> I don't know. But politicians fight. Yeah, it depends on what you're fighting about. Everybody is capable of fighting. And Mulikat is capable of a good fight. Sure. You are giving Shei Makinde a good fight, right? No, I'm not uh, fighting Shei Makinde. So who is fighting who? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, Shei Makinde is fighting Mulikat. Did he say that? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not fighting anybody. I'm just a politician and my interest and the interest of my followers is paramount to me. So what is your interest? Can you tell me? Yeah, my interest is um, politics, as we all know, is a game of interest. If you partake, you should also share in whatever it is that comes out of you know, the process. And if, uh, paraventure, you are not uh, being carried along, then your interest is not being taken care of. You and your followers or you and your supporters. And there's nothing wrong in making noise about that or in letting people know that there is a problem. So she, it's not about fighting. So she, Makinde, is not carrying you along. Me and my people. Yes. You and your people. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by carrying along? Um, if you partake or if you work in forming a government, it is only fair that those who worked should also be compensated. I'm not talking about monetary compensation right now. And uh, as you know, if you talk of PDP in Nigeria... And particularly in Oyo State, I'm not a newcomer. I've been in PDP since its inception, and we've worked for PDP for as long as anybody can remember. You know, I can say that we own the party. As owners of the party, we have the interest of the party at heart. All what we have been doing from 1998 till the last election in 2019 was about the success of the party. So whoever is flying the party's flag will definitely get our support. And after that, the party members, the people who worked are supposed to be compensated. Like I told you, it's not about money. It's about the government, what you get from government. People are interested in certain positions. Everybody should get their dues. That's what, if you are a governor, you've taken yours. If you want to go to the House of Reps and you win, you've gotten, you know, what you wanted. If you want to be a senator and you get your seat, that is it. So, but what of the other people who are not, you know, contesting for any elective positions? We have local government positions there. We have state positions there. Are they not supposed to be part of it? So this is what I'm talking about by interest. So after the election, she Kinde did not bring in your followers into the government. No. Did you take it up with him? Yeah. And what On did several say? occasions. Uh, I'll do something about it. I didn't know that uh, this uh, interview is about Shei Makinde. I don't want to really, you know, go that line. I don't want to talk about, you know, what has passed. Because um, if anything was done to right the wrong that was done to my own people, I contested in 2019 
and thanks to uh, the governor himself and other people who worked against me, I could I didn't make that seat, House no. of uh, Senate. So, if at this point, three years after, I'll be talking about my people were not giving something. I don't think, that's why I said <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be the line of conversation. So I don't really want to talk about, as far as I'm concerned, that's bygone. Even though it's bygone, the public need to hear something. You just mentioned it. That Shea McIndy worked against your senatorial ambition. So you can ask him for details. How? Ask him. Is that why you did not win? I will say part of it because I wasn't in Shaki and Ishain where, you know, the margin was very high. I, I wasn't there. But those who were in that axis knew that he himself couldn't have been there, but one or two people that he used were there to make sure that at least I did not win election. I'll tell you one thing. Somebody told him when I lost that, oh, this woman lost. Have you called her? Have you said anything? He said, she shot herself on the foot. Why would she win? And I confronted him with it. And he didn't deny it. He said, but he didn't say it out of any uh, negative. And I told him, uh, if I shot myself on the foot, it doesn't have a positive meaning. It can only be negative. At what point did I shoot myself on the foot? And why? Which he couldn't answer me. I asked him this question in my house in Abuja because I was surprised because I went all out. I did everything within my power for the party at that time for him. He was the flag bearer. So I was surprised that he could make such a statement, you know. You see, where it concerns me. From this interview, I can decipher that the war had started even before she won the election. Because you are saying he didn't, didn't want know. you. I you didn't, didn't know. know. I didn't know there was a war. I didn't know they were fighting me. I started hearing everything after the governorship election. But even then, I didn't even, you know, take it as anything. Because I'm someone who believes that election is about winning, losing. If you win, it's because God wants you to win. That's who I am. So I didn't really, even when I asked him that you said I shot myself on the foot, I still discountenance. After then, he still came to my house. We were still talking. You know what I mean? So I didn't take it as anything because I believe that God gives when he wants to. If they worked against me and I lost, it's because God wanted it that way. That's the way I conclude because I'm a God-fearing person. I don't want to ascribe uh, anything, you know, really to anybody. But as time went on, I began to see all the plans or uh, all the things that he wanted to come out of this government. So, there was no need. So he was because out... Because there was no re reason. Yes. He was out to cut you to size. No, I don't know what size. But all I know is that they didn't want me there. In fact, there were um, uh, reports to me that he, they, what they said was that if she goes to the Senate, she will become too powerful and we, can, we will not be able to control her. So I wouldn't know where, how, and you know, why they got to that kind of you know, conclusion. I wouldn't know. 